Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and this video is a very quick little tutorial to follow on very swiftly from my previous video. Now my previous video is where I showed you how I am now organizing all of my PDF patterns by creating these little A5 cards so that I essentially create my own little sort of equivalent to a pattern envelope for all of my PDF patterns. Now quite a few commented saying great idea but I'm not so hot with technology um, I'm not sure how to do it so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you. So I'm recording my screen on my computer and I'll just walk you through step by step how I do it. There'll be plenty of other methods for doing this but this is the way I did it and I, I'm aware that I'm using a Mac and some of you will use PC so I'm going to try and use my work laptop to insert a few clips of the alternative way of doing it on a PC. But basically I use Microsoft Word so that's what I've got up here and if you want to make A5 cards like I did the first thing you'll need to do is go to layout and go to um, size and change it to A5. So now I've formatted my piece of paper, my, my, A, my Word document essentially as A5. Now your Word might look a little bit different to mine if you've got an older or a newer version but it should roughly be the same so you go to layout, page size and change it to A5. Next I'm going to go again in the layout window, I'm going to go to margins over here and I'm going to change it to narrow. Now that just means that the margins are now really narrow around the edge of the paper so that any pictures and things that I paste in here I can make nice and big. So now I'm going to go onto the website of the pattern that I'm making this card for and this is the Seamwork Astoria pattern. Now I kind of want it to look nice and um, so I've kind of got the website up here so I can pinch things from there. But I've also got the pattern booklet open from my, I keep them all on an external hard drive. So I could also choose to snip things from here if I wanted to. So let's just say I decide that actually I don't want to pinch any of the pictures from the website. I want to pick pinch from the front of the, the pattern booklet. I'm going to just zoom out so I can see the whole page. And what I'm going to do is take a snip of the image that I would like to copy and paste onto my little A5 card. So if you're using a Mac, the shortcut for taking a snip is pressing the keys Command, Shift and the number 4. And did you see how if I press Escape my cursor here is going to change. I'm going to do Command, Shift, number 4 and then I've got this little selector cursor which means that I can click hold the click down while I drag to a shape and then it will take a snip of that shape. So I'm going to click in the top corner here and I'm going to keep, I'm holding the mouse down while I'm dragging and I'm going to drag to the place I'm happy with and then I'm going to let go. And it did, I'm not sure if you would have heard that, but it did a very satisfying ching, like camera sound. And that image is now saved on my desktop screenshot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Microsoft Word template and I'm going to do um, insert pictures, so insert pictures, picture from file. And this allows me to browse the files on my computer to choose the photo that I want to add to this A5 Word document. So it's saved onto my desktop and it's this one at the top here and I'm going to do insert. And look, there you go, there is my beautiful Seamwork Astoria picture there. Now if you prefer, you could do the exact same thing, but take a snip of the line drawing. So this is back on the instruction booklet, and there's an image here, I can zoom into, of the line drawings. I could again do my Command Shift 4 and take a snip of the line drawings. What you could do is actually, if there might be the same images that you like on the website, so you could also find a picture you like on the website that you want to use, and you could do right click, and you can either do save image as, and you could save the image to your desktop, which looks like this. 
save as and then you decide, you choose your place where you want to save it, give it a name and press save. Or you can do copy image, so I did right click, copy image, go back to my Word document and I can do um, right click, paste. And then I've also got this. So it depends if you prefer to see the nice sort of photography in the proper images or if you prefer to see a line drawing, but you could also do that. If you were going to do this, you'll notice that you don't have the title on there anywhere, the name of the pattern. And that might be a bit confusing if you were planning to have this as your front page of, of your, your pattern card. So what I would do if it was me is I would click on the image so that you've got all these squares around the outside so you know the image is, collect, is um, selected. I'd go to picture format at the top and I'd go to crop and I would crop it down by dragging on these little thick black markers to make it smaller. Then I would make a bit of space for myself at the top and I would find somewhere either from the website or from the pattern booklet I'd take a snip of like the title so I can copy and paste the title of the pattern so as an example if we're doing this from the website I would probably take a snip of oh, take a snip of this so I'd probably go control shift 4 And I might even just do like the Astoria like that. And then I might also do Control Shift 4 and take a snip of this seam work bit. Because then I can go back to my Word document. I've got my cursor at the top here. And I can go Insert, Picture, Picture from File. Because remember when you do those snips that I just did using Control Shift 4, you it automatically saves the picture to your desktop. So I can do picture from file and then I can select these two and insert them. And then look, I've got them the wrong way around so I might just change that. I've got, look, scene work Astoria. And you can crop these. So for example, if I wanted to make that a bit skinnier so that it sat closer to the word scene work, I would go again to click on it to get the white boxes around the edge. I'd go to picture format crop and again you just need to get your cursor over the thick black lines and make it smaller like that and you could do the same to this one if you wanted to and look if you prefer a line drawing you could have it like that so whichever one of these you choose to do go with what you like best but then I'm going to create another page and this is going to be the back of my card so I'm going to print these double sided. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to see if they have a picture on here that gives you all the um, pattern measurements and fabric requirements but I'm looking at these images here and it doesn't look like they give you one. It just looks like it's images and then the line drawings. Yeah so I haven't found what I want to find there so I'm going to look on the, um, I'm going to look in the pattern booklet. And here, look on the sex, I'm on the, this is the first page, scroll down to the second page of the pattern booklet. This part here tells me all about the supplies, the fabric, the measurements. So, again, I'm going to do on my Mac, I'm going to do my Control Shift 4, and I'm going to select all of this, remember you click, you hold the click down while you drag and then you let go. And that's saved to my desktop automatically. So I'm gonna go back to Microsoft Word and I'm gonna do insert, oh, I can do it down here or down here. Insert, picture, picture from file. And I'm gonna take that most recent screenshot So what I am then going to do, I, I quite like this, actually no, I'm going to save my coloured ink and I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this one. So I'm just going to delete this so I can show you what it would look like. 
once you've got your front page and your back page. My pattern card is now ready to go. I'm happy with how it looks. I've got the pattern company name, the title, the line drawings, and then I've got all the measurements and everything on the back. So now I need to print it. So I'm gonna go to file, print, but you'll see here now, this is me using a Mac, remember, I'll try and insert a clip to show you what it looks like on a PC computer. But it's not got the settings that I need to make sure that it's going to print in A5. So what I'm going to do is go on this drop down at the bottom where it says PDF and I'm going to go to open in preview. This is just warning me that my margins are quite small but I'm okay with that so I'm going to click yes to continue. And you'll see it's opened in preview. So now I'm going to go file, print. And you'll see that now I've got some extra settings. So now I can go on this drop down here and change the paper size to A5. Now, just as a reminder, you'll need to either buy yourself some A5 card or you can buy A4 card, which might be a little bit easier to get hold of and you can just cut it in half. So you need to make sure that that's the paper that's in your printer so that it prints on the right paper. But I've changed this paper size to A5. I'm going to change the scale to 100% just because I don't want it to be shrunken. You'll be familiar with that if you print your own PDF patterns at home because you always need to make sure that you put the scale to 100. And then the only other thing we need to think about is the fact that I want to print this double sided. Now your printer might be fancier than mine and have like proper settings for that but I'm just going to do it the bog standard easy way and I'm going to instead of doing all so pages here, it's saying that it's going to print all pages. I just want it to print the first page to start with. So I'm going to do from pages one to one. And then what I'm going to do is press print. That is going to print just this front page out. Then what I'm going to do is pull that front page out of my printer, flip it around, put the paper, the piece of card back in the top of the printer. And then I'm going to do these exact same steps again, but this time I'll change it to two to two. And you see how the this here has changed the um, the example to show you what it will look like. So then I basically print the front first, flip it over, and then print the back. So I've opened everything up on my PC. So this is my work computer that I'm sneakily using to do this, and because I just want to show you how you could do the same thing but with um, a PC, like a Windows computer. So in terms of taking snips and copying um, your images and your line drawings, what you can do is use the snip tool. Now I'm going to open up the pattern. Um, the pattern booklet again and I'm this time I think I'm going to use this the, the front page of the pattern booklet so I'm going to go here in my search bar or you could you know go to basically the start whatever version of Windows you have it might look a bit different but if I type in here snip then I'm pretty sure that most Windows computers and PC computers now do come with this snipping tool so if you click on the snipping tool and you can sort of move it around here and if you click new then you can see your screen sort of goes shaded and you can use your cursor to do kind of the same thing that I showed you for a Mac. So you click and you drag until you've covered the shape that you want. Then you let go and it comes up in this window. So it's not like on a Mac, it doesn't automatically save anything to your desktop. So now I need to manually right click on this image, do copy and then I can go to my Word document and I'll scroll down to my free page and again I can do right click and paste. Et voila! So it's just as simple, you just need to use this snipping tool and you click new to do a new slip, snip. You select what you want to snip and then it will come up for you. So just to show you again, if I come out of that, if I go back to my pattern booklet, I go on the snipping tool I click new and then I select the area that I'd like to snip. I let go and then I have to do right click, copy and then in my Word document I do right click and paste. So that's that element and then I also just wanted to show you how you might change the printer settings. Now again it just changes computer to computer, computer but on Windows it might look a bit like this so you go file, print 
and it should be a little bit more straightforward than on a Mac because you've got all the options come up here. So you can see here that it's already got this set as A5. And then again, you can put in here the pages you'd like to print. So I would start by saying page one and typing in the number one. Then I'd print, let that print out. I'd take the card out, flip it over, put it back in the top of my printer and I do it all again and press page two. So then it would print out the second page. So that should show you just the basic things you need to know to replicate what I just talked through on a Windows PC instead of on a Mac. I won't print it right now because I don't want to waste any paper or card, but I hope that that's shown you how I did it. What you can do is actually save a copy of this, um, this Word document, so you can do file, save as, and you can save it to wherever on your computer or you know, a pen drive or an external hard drive or put it in Google Docs or whatever, however you like to save things so that if, you know, heaven forbid there was you know, an accident and all your um, PDF pattern cards got lost or damaged or something, you've kind of, you've still got them so you could print them off again in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I really hope that it's been easy enough to follow along and that it will give you a hint of sort of how to do this if you do want to replicate this yourself for your PDF patterns. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!